YouTube, welcome back. Hope you're all doing so well. I'm not, I'm absolutely fuming because I vlogged my whole birthday week for you and it's probably the best vlog ever. I had my gimbal, the camera did not leave my hand. I was like making sure my friends were filming stuff. So anyways, I put it in this dodgy SD reader thing to get it onto my laptop to edit it. And my laptop froze because the reader, I unplugged it, put it back in, and the whole memory card was wiped. So basically, nice waste of fucking time. So yeah, that was the video that was meant to go up today. But, well, obviously I can't go on that. So instead, someone asked to do a life update, which I thought was good because I like answering questions. I feel like you guys like when I chat to you. And I'm going to make some lunch as well, so we'll multitask, make lunch, watch the F1, edit the video, get it out this evening, and then that's it, back to business. I'm going to be making the Gigi Hadid pasta, so I thought today I'll have a big blowout, eat really cheesy creamy pasta, which will probably put me on the toilet for the rest of the day. Let me just check I've got all the ingredients. Tomato paste, I didn't get tomato paste. I didn't get tomato paste because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god! Today is not my fucking bowl! Nah. I need to have a meltdown. I'll be back in a minute. But I just honestly I had the biggest meltdown ever. But I found chopped tomatoes with chopped tomatoes? Chopped tomatoes with basil, so I'm gonna use that. If it tastes like shit, then it looks like I'm having another bit of pizza. So anyways, number one, I used to oh my god, I used to with Toby, I used to with Toby, how's Toby? Where's Toby? Right, biggest update probably is I've not seen Toby in over two and a half weeks now. I left to go and do a project where I went away for a week. I actually didn't have a phone. I think you guys had no idea that I was doing it. Um, I didn't have a phone for a while. Can't tell you what it was yet. But yeah, I, so I had to quarantine because COVID and then I had to do the eight day. Um, so I didn't see or speak to Toby. And then whilst I was away, Toby then left to go and do a project and he's still not home. So yeah, I didn't see him on my birthday, like only could really speak to him from when I got back as well. So yeah, it's the longest we've been apart. It's been weird, but now I'm like, it's been so long. I am just used to being on my own now, which is weird. But yes, he will be back next week. First step for this fucking pasta is probably cry. Probably do a bit of crying. Right, we're gonna put the water on the boil. By the way, I saw Millie did this video, so I have actually copied. Haha, <laughs> bye. I'm gonna chop up this onion. I'm not even sure if I'm hungry, but I just knew I needed to film a video. Next question. <laughs> guys, they're all about Toby. Now, are you guys just interested in Toby? Maybe I feel like he should have been in this fucking video. Maybe I'll do an updated video when he's back. What did I do for my birthday? Okay, so this is what I did. I woke up on Monday in my flat on my own, which was actually quite depressing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Cause obviously normally I would be at home or with friends or with Toby obviously. Although last year I wasn't with Toby. Oh my God, I've not actually spent one of my birthdays with Toby. I mean, we've only been together a year, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I woke up on my own because I'd literally just got back the before evening. And like, I just did not feel myself. I'm gonna go to Soho Farmhouse with my friends. But luckily I told them before, like I actually don't think I'm gonna be up for doing that because of I was away, no phone, can make you a bit out of touch, you know. So we actually just ended up going for some lunch at Orbain in Selfridges. The food was nice and the cocktails were good, but the service was so fucking awful, I don't recommend it. It was horrendous. They took like an hour to get one of my friends drinks. And then the food took, we were meant to be there for an hour and a half and go to an exhibition. We were there for three hours. So that just tells you how slow they were. Then we went to 180 The Strand. But I, <laughs> so I have to like tell you about telling you what I've been doing. But I just did not feel myself. And I had a car booked originally to take me home at like half 11. I think I left at half seven. Cause I just wanted to go home and be by myself. And sometimes, that is fine. If you're not feeling up to drinking, doing that, don't force yourself. Which leads me to my next thing. Actually, no, it doesn't. So I did that. Tuesday, I filmed something, like, fucking cool. It was with um, Darkest Man, Adiola Patron, and then Harry Panera. I don't know if you saw on my Instagram, but I can't tell you what it was, but just know it was fucking funny. And then that night, my mum and her boyfriend came over with their little dog. Again, I was going to go out for dinner, but I just wasn't feeling it. 
I just knew I'd be forcing myself if I was just going out for dinner and drinking again. So then Wednesday, what did I do Wednesday? I can't remember. Um, and then Thursday, Daisy came round who does like all my content for me now. Um, because I am quite busy and my, I think I'm going brain dead a bit. Like, because I'm not using my brain for so long. Sometimes I just can't be creative. Anyway, she came over and we did some ads. Did a really cool one for Sky Glass. I've recently got Sky Glass. And then we did one for something else, which is exciting. Then I had to go to an eye doctor. Basically, I got astigmatism in my left eye and I should be wearing glasses, but I haven't been wearing glasses for ages and basically I need to fucking start wearing glasses. So I'm going to book myself a Specsaver appointment for this week, probably on Tuesday. And then what was I do? Thursday, oh yeah, then went to check into the NYX Hotel in Holborn, which was honestly one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in London. It was so nice and far away, it was so cool. Then went to STK in Westminster with like all my friends and we honestly if anyone's got a birthday coming up and you want to do like a dinner or something go to stk in westminster you get a private you can ask for a private room with a bowling alley and oh my god it was just so much fun we got absolutely like battered and we're like bowling like running it was like just so much fun bearing in mind i'm 27 i should have done something a bit more mature um i'm gonna put this pasta in now the water's not boiling but i'm impatient moving on oh and then also i managed to get sick tickets to Arsenal Tottenham, obviously North London Derby. I support Arsenal, um, not like, I couldn't tell you all the players, but my dad has supported him his whole life. So I took him and I got the tickets from Tick Hicks on Instagram. If you ever need fucking tickets, get him. He will fucking, oh my God, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. They will pattern you, like the seats were unreal. We're in the North Bank, like we literally could see the players so close up, it was unreal. Okay, I'm back. I just had to really get involved in that gossip there. I'm gonna put the onions in. Someone's, ah, there's got the cheese everywhere. Someone's asked me if I miss playing sport. Oh my gosh, yes. Like what I've realized recently and something that, I don't know, I feel like, I know obviously you get put into, like people know who you are, blah, 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 but I feel like you really do have to have something that you're passionate about or, this important to you and growing up like I did sport and I do think that but I think it's so important for girls to play sport and for there to be stigma removed around like girls who want to play sport. I miss playing sport and I want to make it like one of my things for trying to help girls get into sport and just letting them know that if you do sport in school it's fucking cool. The girls doing sport are the coolest girls okay. If you're a girl and you do sport then you're fucking cool. You're cooler than everyone I know. I have put so much chilli in, I'll show you. Right, garlic and onion, which is in. Now we're adding this to my... Uh, have you and Toby got any big chips left? Basically, I was... We're meant to be in Dubai next week. And then I was meant to go to Thailand with Millie and Lucinda at the end of this month. But I can't. So I've been offered some really cool work things. We've been away for so long. I'm going to put this cheese... No. Cheese? Yeah, I'm going to put this cheese in. I, we've been away for so long from our flat, right? And I just feel like I just want some time to be living in my flat, you know? Like, we love our flat so much and we've just spent so much time away from it. I just really want to chill. And also, oh, on what I was saying earlier, I'm just not in, I don't want to drink for a while. Like, going out and all that is fun, but then I just feel like I've really been overdoing it. And it's just not good. Like, it just locks me off for like days on end. Nothing's booked, but hopefully, maybe New York at Christmas if we can get all of our ducks in a row. Because we are very unorganized. Every time I put a question box up, you're like, are you still Toby having kids? Can we just, can we just not do that, please? I'm really training gym, do track calories. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not like, I'll go to the gym, look, sometimes I have that. I just watch what I eat and I think because I used to be so strict, like I used to really count calories and go to the gym like endless amounts, I just kind of know what works for me, but at the moment I'm eating food. I haven't done it properly in ages, but starting tomorrow I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna count calories, I just know what I should be and what I shouldn't be and how much. But yeah, starting from tomorrow, I'm gonna do it on TikTok though. Do you still speak to Liam? Yeah, on occasion. Even like when we look like, he's obviously one of my like good friends. But when we left, he's, I don't really think he's a big WhatsApper. It's not like before him and Millie split, we were talking all the, all the time. But yeah, I still speak. I've not seen his new place, but I saw that, um, I did laugh when he put the was eating on like an ironing board. Where are those big cat prints? Oh yeah, my prints in my kitchen. 
over there. They're from Decenio, literally the online thing. I just ordered the prints and the frames. Oh, actually, no, they did send them to me. Hashtag gift tip. What's something I want to do next in my career? Like I said, I want something to, I need something to focus on. Like, I'm very all over. So, I've got some very exciting things coming out soon. Like, for fucking cool things that I've not been able to tell you about. And when they come out, I really hope there's like a good response and I get to do more stuff like that. So that's my hope, so I can just carry on doing these really cool things. Sorry I can't share anymore if I hate when people are like, oh, I've got something to tell you, I can't hang right now. Well, that's me. This is so messy, I'll clean up later. Right, let's see what other questions you've got whilst this is sitting and then we'll be done. Any plans for Halloween? Do you decorate your home? I actually, because I am a scaredy cat, I don't like Halloween, it's not for me. It's not my season, like, didn't go to Fright Night because I'm too scared. Didn't go to Tully's Farm because I'm too scared. It's just not, like, the dressing up aspect looks fun and cool, but it's not. Christmas, all day, every day. Current tan that you are using. I am currently using the Bondi Sands. I think it's called One Hour Express, and it's like a foam. And, oh, my God, it's so fucking good. You literally just bang it on, and you can straight away see the difference. But you leave it on, like, it says three hours. I think I left mine on for six just because of when I needed to wash it off. And it's still, like... It's not gone like tiger bread, which is my main thing in a tan, you know, when it starts to come off and it looks like tiger okay, bread. Okay, this is it. It's done. I need some better bowls. I saw Rachel Leary make this and she's got really cool heart bowls. Um, but yes, one last thing I'll update you in is that when I went out on Thursday, no, when I was away, I really stubbed my toe right and it was causing me pain. Not immense pain. On Thursday, someone trod on it with their heel. I looked down, my whole toenail the whole thing the whole i keep looking down i want to amputate it it is clapped so i'm gonna paint the skin before toby gets back i was gonna go and get an acrylic on it but i think that's gonna make it worse so i'm gonna leave it for a month but yeah that's what i'm going through oh my god that is oh my god i wish i could eat this every day you don't understand but yeah, that's my life update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry it wasn't a birthday vlog, but you can fucking take it out on my SD card reader. Dickhead thing. But yes, I'm going to do two videos for you going forward. Actually, I'll vlog all my week next week because Toby's back. So we might do something. Probably won't, but yeah. Love you. Bye.